Okay, so uh, I have a confession to make. I'm on this flight right now to London and I didn't tell Asa that I'm going for her because I told her I'm going to Berlin but actually I'm going to London. So next time I see her will be I think 16 hours from now and she has no idea that I'm on my way and then I'm taking a train to Plymouth to see her so it's gonna be interesting. Highlights of riding Kuwait Airways. Arabic coffee, they're delicious dates. Just really good. Okay, so uh, after a nine hour flight, we're here in Kuwait for like a six hour layover. It's crazy how long you have to wait sometimes for your next flight, but yeah. The only thing in my mind right now is seeing Asil again. I have approximately three hours left layover here in Kuwait. I am so, so excited to see her. It got me thinking about the things I miss about her because the last time I saw her was March 22. That's insane. That's the longest time we've ever been away from each other. And we're surviving. By the grace of God, we're doing relatively okay. But it got me thinking, you know, after all of you know this, this whole time being away from her. I got to thinking about the things that I really miss about her and I realized now that I'm getting closer and closer to seeing her there are so many things I miss about her. You know, one thing is her smile. It's, it's contagious. It's something, you know, it's something you kind of take for granted when she's with you every day but now that she's away from me, I kind of miss seeing that smile in person. And one more thing is her positivity. I've never met anyone like her who has just so much positive energy all the time you know what let's cite an example for example I I don't have any money and they say you know what mahal wala na akong pera or I, I don't have any money she says never say that just say the money's on its way to you small things like that you know it, it, it makes you feel like yeah, you know, this person's okay. She's someone you can count on. And I think those traits make for a good quality for a mother, don't you guys think? Man, I really miss her. I really do. She's... No, thank God for FaceTime and all that, but... You know, I long for her hugs, I long for her touch, her, her smell. I miss everything about her. I cannot wait. Few more hours left, approximately around. I'll be with her in eight hours maximum, and that's just driving me insane because that's how excited I am to see her. Yeah, and it's making this wait really, really agonizing for me, but it's all worth it. Can't wait to see the look on her face when I, I see her for the first time. And she realizes finally that it's me in front of her instead of on a telephone screen or a computer screen. I really miss her. Soon though. This is gonna be the most epic trip I've ever had in my life because I know I'm gonna spend it with her. Okay, so after nine hours of traveling, I think it's time to jump forward and cut this trip shorter, right? That was quick. Check it out. This is how you know you're really in London. Find the gap. 
Now to get on a train to Plymouth in 3, 2, Someone made it to Plymouth. Getting a dick. <laughs> I was lying the whole time. Okay, I'm crying. Kayo talaga. Hi. 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 <laughs> <laughs> you get fun roll. So I've, I've recorded, I'm gonna try and like, do you guys have a Twitter or something? When we all start going out, when we're... It's so weird! <laughs> Because they were one by one, they went out, and I was like, shh, shh, shh. And they were like, oh my god. <laughs> I'm going to go to the other. 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 I'm going to go to the other.